Hey guys, it's Lara from Art Really House, and today I'm gonna to talk about my top 10 kitchen must-haves. So I'm gonna skip all the simple things like forks, knives, plates, bowls, cups. You guys already know those are things that you need in your kitchen. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about 10 things that are maybe not as basic, even though they still are pretty basic, things that I use here in my kitchen. Now, I don't have a ton of knickknacks or anything like that. I don't have a very big kitchen, so I like to keep things simple and just keep the things that I need and use almost on a daily basis. So I'm gonna go over those things with you today and hopefully give you guys some ideas of things that you might need to make your kitchen a little better stocked and have things on hand that you're actually going to use. So the first thing that I use every single day and that I find as a must have in my kitchen is my Berkey water filter. So using some type of water filter, especially in my area is very important. Our water is high in chlorine and all kinds of other things that we don't wanna be drinking. After doing a lot of research, I settled on the Berkey for a couple of different reasons. One, I really like the way that the water is after it's been filtered. There are some water filters that you can use that actually take out too many things that can leave you deficient in certain minerals. And then also there are some that don't take out enough. So with the Berkey, I use the black carbon filters and also the added chlorine filters. And I find that it works really well for us here. And also the other reason why I chose it is it is the cheapest. So the filters can last up to eight years. We do replace our chlorine filters about once a year, sometimes a little less but other than that, the black ones last for a really long time. And so I have found this filtration system actually turns out to be cheaper than other filter systems that I looked into. I also like the fact that the base of it is stainless steel, so then our water is never sitting in plastic. It is always in that stainless steel. And so we really, really love the Berkey. So that's the first must have here on my list. My second must have is a Ninja blender. Okay, we make a lot of smoothies in here. I make a lot of um, blender pancakes. My Ninja blender gets used every single day, sometimes twice a day. We also use it to make a homemade ice cream that we love. I have tried using other blenders like the cheap ones from Walmart. They always break. The Ninja one seems to last a lot longer and I love it because the blade goes up all the way to the top and so you can really blend things in there make things thicker i do wish that the ninja had a glass container to put the food in but they are plastic so i don't love that about it but I don't do too many hot things in there and so I don't worry about it. If I'm ever making a soup that I wanna puree, I, that obviously is hot, but for the most part, we're sticking to ice cream, the pancakes, and also smoothies. So all things that are cool and I don't mind putting in plastic. The third thing on my kitchen must have list is a cast iron skillet or multiple cast iron skillets depending on how much you cook and how large your family is. We use cast iron for everything, I love it. If you have a well seasoned cast iron skillet, then that makes it to be non-stick and it's very healthy for you. In fact, you're gonna get some traces of iron in your food, which is really good, especially if you're low in iron. So I love cooking with cast iron. It also makes your meat crispier and it cooks everything more evenly. And the other thing I love about the cast iron skillet is that you can take it from the stove and put it into the oven as well. So if you're making some type of dish that starts off on the stove top and then it's going into the oven, you don't have to transfer food around, makes for less dishes. And so my cast iron skillet stays out on my stove 100% of the time and we cook in it multiple times every single day. The fourth thing on my list is tea towels. So tea towels are my favorite towels to have because I love that they are thin. They don't get stinky like those thicker towels because they're so thin. I also love them because I can use them to clean with, I can use them to dry with, and I can also use them as a washcloth. And then the other thing that I use my tea towels for a lot is they're great for 
fermenting. So at any given time, you're gonna find several different things fermenting out on my countertops. And one of those things is my sourdough starter and I like to cover it with a towel. It's really nice because it's lightweight. Air can still get in to keep it alive, but also keep all the outside things in. So I love having a lot of tea towels in my kitchen. The fifth thing on my list is mason jars. I use mason jars a ton in my kitchen. We use them for cups. We use them to ferment our sauerkraut in. We use them to drink smoothies out of. I love having mason jars to store food in, bone broth in, pretty much all of my DIYs. I put in some type of mason jar, my lotions, my um, makeup remover wipes. I have a mason jar full of oil pulling pods in my refrigerator. So I make elderberry syrup and put it in a mason jar and keep it in my fridge. Any of my homemade dressings or sauces, I usually store in a mason jar. So lots and lots of mason jars in all different sizes. We use the half gallon ones for yogurt, sauerkraut, milk, and then the smaller ones for all the other things. Stock in your kitchen with mason jars, you will find a lot of uses for those. The sixth thing on my kitchen must have list is glass storage containers. I pack a lunch for my husband every single day and I use these same glass square containers every single day for his lunch. I love that they have the locking lid so it can stay so no food leaks out. I also use these for storing anything at all that we have leftover wise and also it helps it to keep it fresh longer and then they're easy to stack in the refrigerator if we have lots of leftovers or just whatever we have in there. I love having lots of glass storage containers. The next must have on my list is an Instapot. If you guys aren't using an Instapot yet, you need to get one. I love having an Instapot. I don't absolutely love it just for the instant part of it, even though I do use it whenever I forget about dinner and I pull out like a, an entire frozen chicken out of the freezer and I can have it done in an hour. That's really awesome. But for the most part, I love to use my Instapot to make bone broth because I have found a way to get it to gel every single time in my Instapot. So I love that. It is really good for making homemade yogurt. I can make a whole gallon of yogurt in my Instapot with just a couple presses of buttons. So I love it for that. I also love to make soups in there. As soon as I'm done making a bone broth, just adding in the soup ingredients, bringing it back to a boil with the saute mode. The Instant Pot is another thing that doesn't get put away very often in my home. It just sits out on the counter and I'm constantly putting new things in it. But for sure, yogurt and bone broth are my main uses for my Instant Pot. I also love to have glass spray bottles in my kitchen. I like to make my own um, all-purpose spray cleaner that I use in my kitchen to clean off my countertops and my tables and even to mop my floors. And I also make my own homemade dish soap and so I like to store that in a glass spray bottle as well. It makes it easier to wash the dishes. So a couple glass spray bottles are something that I use every single day. The next thing that I use every single day in my house is stainless steel cookware. Using cast iron and stainless steel are my favorite ways to go in the kitchen. My last thing that is a must have in my kitchen is an apron. So you guys notice that I wear an apron a lot in my videos and it's not just for show. I wear this thing all the time, pretty much every single day, 24 seven, I'm wearing an apron. I love having it just to like wipe my dirty hands on instead of getting a towel after I wash my hands and dry them on there. I use it as a hot pad. It's good to put eggs in when I'm going out to collect eggs from the chicken coop. And it also saves my shirts. So if I don't have an apron on, it is a definite that I'm going to get some grease spots on my shirt or coconut oil or something that I can't get out. And so I like to wear an apron pretty much 24 seven. So I had to add that in as my, one of my things that's a must have in my kitchen because anytime you see me in my kitchen, I'm going to have an apron on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have very similar must haves or maybe completely opposites, let me know down in the comments below. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to check out all all of my resources I have there. I have lots of different free eBooks and some free printables, all these things you can find in my online resource library. There's a link for that down below so you can get access to that. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I get out new videos every week on essential oil education, natural remedies, and I share lots of healthy recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by our oily house.